How's it going everybody and welcome back to this Mantine course. In today's video we're going to be doing an introduction into Mantine dates. The reason we're not going to be making a single video dedicated to only Mantine dates uh, because I think that these individual components such as calendar, date picker, date range picker, month, time input, they're very important components and I think that they should have their own dedicated videos. And so in this tutorial we'll just be covering what we're going to be doing in the next couple of videos and installing this into our project. So before we do begin, there's a, a small update that I wanted to let you guys know. And I wanted to give you guys a chance for you guys to see your own ideas in a video. So before I do finish off with this series or any subsequent series afterwards, um, you can leave an idea where you want to see a certain component being used or you want to see a certain topic covered for the actual series that we're working on. So in this case, if you wanted to see a certain component being covered in Mantine that I haven't covered, uh, you can leave that in the comments down below. And if it has a good amount of likes or um, if it's a cool idea, then I'll definitely cover it. And I'll keep it to two max and we'll see how it goes from there. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so I've opened up the Mantine dates documentation and the link to this is in the description down below. And the very first thing that we can see right here is the installation. Now we haven't installed these packages onto our app yet. We will do that later in this video. Now if we scroll a little bit lower, we will see localization. So localization is a really cool concept that I've never seen used in any other library except for Mantine, where you're actually able to display certain languages for your calendar, date picker, month, uh, whatever type of date picker that you're using. So in this case, they're importing the German language and the way that they use it, all you have to do is locale and you just specify the actual import. So in this case, you're using the German language with DE. And we can see this as an example. Let's say we go into the calendar and we go into localization right here. We can see that they're using the Russian language and they're importing it right RU. And we can see right here, they're using the Russian text for the actual month and the individual days as well. So now if we scroll a little bit lower, we'll actually see the individual components that is available for us in Mantine dates. So the very first thing we have date picker is really simple. You have a calendar and you can pick a date and it'll appear inside of the input. Next one, this is my, this is by far my most favorite one is the date range picker. I have never been able to find a good date range picker. That's number one free and is dark mode and Mantine provides that. So if I click on it, we can see that we have a month right here and we can select a certain date all the way up to another certain date and it'll select it for us properly. After that, we have the time input. Now this is a little bit, in my opinion, a little bit UI wise, a little bit weak, where in material UI, you would have an actual pop-up where you can actually select a from a clock. But in this case, you can just type in whatever time you want. So if I wanted, let's say uh, 12, 159, we can just type in inside of there. Next thing we have the calendar, just a basic calendar where you can select a date. And after that, we have a date range calendar. So I can click this and it'll take us all the way to a certain range. After that, we just have a month and that basically covers all the components. And after that, we have some utility functions. So right here it says you're apart from components that Mantine dates package also exports several utility components. So we can get an array of weeks of the current month. We can get the month names in English as well in, as well as in the specified language that we want. We can get it in, uh, we can get a sh array of short week days names for a given locale, uh, array of years in a given range. We can get is same date, is same month. So we have a pretty solid uh, library of dates that we can tackle from. In the next video, we'll be talking about how to work with the time input component. So before we end this tutorial, we actually have to install the Mantine dates. So I'm gonna scroll at the very top and since we used npm to install it, I'm gonna go ahead and copy the very first one right here. And I'll go into our app that we've been building. And I'm gonna open up a new terminal. Oh, I'm using bash. Oops, not bash, not bash. I'm using uh, zsh. And I'm gonna go ahead and paste the code right there and let it work its magic. Perfect, now everything is installed. Awesome, so that covers this tutorial. If you have any sort of ideas, like I said in the beginning, be sure to leave them down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.